And there we go. The only loss that we had was a single transport ship, which ain't bad. Uh, I think we actually just landed army troops there. Uh, some of the soldiers that were apparently on uh, on my ships were not marines, which stinks. They are still attacking Gilbert, and we still can't see him. They are like John Cena. All right, so now we're going to show Balik Papan. Koga, 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 Koga. Okay. Um, you know, I'm actually not going to watch this battle because I think it's going to go very predictably. And I will be not surprised necessarily if we... Yeah, not necessarily if we... Yeah, we do take some damage sometimes in these. Uh, we did land more army troops, though, unfortunately. Which is annoying! Fifth Fleet is going to shell the ever-loving shit out of Brunei, meanwhile. They do have a battleship with them. Uh, I will just go ahead and watch this briefly so that you guys can see the, the might of the uh, battleship. Um, actually, let's give them typical target orders, forces, there you go. And the battleships can remain very securely out of the range of the enemy uh, marines or infantry or whatever. The peons. I say, yes, quite. I could actually give these guys individual orders so that the destroyers stay out of the range of the guns, but they tend, it's very, very rare for that to happen where the, the destroyers end up getting killed. <laughs> Knowing that it's me, it probably will happen. They're just gonna have to sit tight there and the Hie is going to just absolutely blast the shit out of him that was a hit so they have 76 now I don't know what they had before so we'll find out I think the Kirishima is one of the older battleships I could be wrong about that but It's got a lot of guns, though. Yeah, see, that did a little bit more damage. That will be very helpful for our efforts. All right, well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just off-screen the rest of this because it's going to take a good long while to completely obliterate these guys, but it'll happen. Let's see how much this does. That is one butt-ugly ship, by the way. I love those ships just because they're just... Like the fucking International House of Pancakes course and bridge design right there. That's beautiful. Oh, the Hyuga and the Issei are together. Also, two very, very unfortunate ships. All right. Um, like I said, we'll uh, follow things up here after we blow the shit up out of Brunei. So we just wiped out that division. I'm going to go ahead and actually order these guys to retreat. They are going to go ahead and be dicks and shoot at things as they leave. Uh, we don't want that, unfortunately, but uh, I could actually... You know what I could do is give them individual commands. Uh, so this turn, unfortunately, they're going <laughs> to blow up supplies that we could actually take. But uh, I think that we take them anyways. Pretty sure that we do. We really don't want them to shoot the fucking factory, though, because that's the whole reason we're here. Ugh, damn it. Son of a bitch, and I also didn't get the, get the turn. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. They're just... <laughs> like a bull in a china house. They kind of missed the point there. Um, we should now actually be occupying it, correct? Yes, indeed. Japan gets the square. Next up, Whoopi Goldberg. They're going to the well one too many times there at Gilbert. Although I do like the kind of farty trumpet sound that it makes when they try to attack. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Failure. Good work, idiots. Well, we've taken Brunei, so that's good. And failure again. You dishonor me. Okay, well, and now it is, what is it, the 14th? It is the 14th. I have more uh, orders to give, so 
Uh, I will rejoin you once... Uh, well, actually, you can see that there's several fleets that are in yellow. That means that I need to give them orders uh, to go kill other things at this point. So I will be doing that shortly. So finally, we've gotten an enemy report here. Uh, our subs have detected an enemy fleet sailing from Hawaii. Eight ships, not including carriers. Does not say anything about the composition of that fleet. It just says that there is a fleet, and that is important information. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily order them to attack, um, because that's a bad idea. Because they will probably get crushed. Um, we still have not detected those ships around Gilbert, which is really troubling. Um, yeah, we have patrol aircraft in the air. I'm going to move him a little bit closer, because I'm assuming then... That the <laughs> it's embarrassing. They're right there. They're shelling the fucking... <laughs> They're shelling it. They're right there. Just go ahead and fly some planes over there, please. Come on now. Well, it's too late now, because it's the plan phase, and we haven't detected them, so... Uh, we're good to go. Uh, I'm not going to include very many of the battles that come up, unless there's something noteworthy. Uh, because there's no real reason to. Uh, I've moved our fleet from Brunei on to go actually shell Davao because I'm a dick like that. And I want to get rid of their planes, mostly. So let's see what this is. Belit Papan. We're going to go ahead. Oh, they're attacking our fleet with planes. How quaint. I think that they only had... Uh... Well, we'll see what they have. Blenheims! Really? Uh-oh. 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 That's a problem. We don't like that. When the when the ship starts smoking like that, that's that's bad. Oh, that's also bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think uh Yep. That'll do her. Well then. That was unfortuitous. We lost our uh, flagship for that fleet. So I guess I would call that eventful. They're gonna... They really want that base? Bad. That's three fleets there that we still can't detect? So yeah, I redirected our fleets to attack Minato. Like I say, I'm not gonna show this really because there's nothing to show. Uh, you've already seen it before. So we're gonna go ahead and land them. And I'll let you know what the result is. So this is fun. Listen to them go. Fun times. Um, <laughs> we have some marines attacking Hong Kong because they're in the area. So I decided to just send them at them. But uh, it didn't work out so well, obviously. I might detach one of the Brunei fleets to go attack uh, the land forces at Hong Kong. But we'll see about that. We are now attacking the forces at Belit Papan. Wow. Did a number on him. So that's uh, after the naval combat phase, the land combat phase kind of ensues. It's not official, I guess. It's not an official phase. Come on. Make daddy happy. Damn it. Well... This is going to go predictably awful, so uh, I guess I'll see you guys when there's something worth mentioning. And indeed, it looks like we just took Balik Papan. Wonderful! Very minimal casualties there. So, Borneo is ours. Um, we can go ahead and move on to Makassar now. Mwahahaha! I forgot to actually fire up Bandicam to record, so I was uh, talking about how we detected the 20th fleet, which is probably, uh, it's three cruisers, so I'm assuming that it is probably the, uh, Dutch trying to GTFO, um, trying to unite up with the Americans, but, uh, I don't think they will have any such luck. Um, well, maybe, they might, because this fleet is the closest one, and, uh, they're, they're a little bit far and ooh, they're a little bit outgunned too because this is a light cruiser and five destroyers I think 
Let me look at it again. Four destroyers. It's even worse. Um, I set them to attack, but now that I'm thinking out loud, as opposed to just not thinking, um, I'm going to have them continue on with their mission, but what I might do is I need to detach somebody who's going to be able to put forth comparable firepower. And that is probably have, gonna have to be one of these guys. Shelling Monado is all well and good, but it's not that helpful versus uh, shelling a fleet. This is the fleet for the job. This is six cruisers versus their three. And they're pretty fast, so I'm gonna give them the order to attack in this area. But uh, I, I can just about guarantee you the Dutch are going to elude them. So I bet you they're heading east. Because I think that that fleet probably started in uh, on Java. Yeah, I think that that's a safe bet. Uh, let's go to the map. Take another quick look at our situation here before I end the phase. You can see that we're kind of coalescing around uh, Gilbert because they just insist on shelling it still and uh, that's pretty much all that's noteworthy tee hee hee I had the 15th actually divert to Devau uh, because I started shelling the shit out of him and I was like wait a minute we've got the situation down south taken care of um, so I figured I'd just land that army unit there and sure enough we've taken it uh, meanwhile, the Americans insist on just doing maneuvers, I guess, around Gilbert, and my fleets just insist on not seeing them, which is great. Um, meanwhile, we're shelling Makassar here, which I'm not going to watch, because I have a pretty good idea of what the outcome will be. Maybe we'll finish it off this turn, actually. Good god. It would be different if they actually landed troops there. Ah, now this is a delightful situation that I wasn't sure if it was going to pan out, so I didn't want to get your hopes up earlier. But we managed to track down the Dutch again. And they're over by Guam, so obviously I think they were probably trying to get to Guam. But uh, we have the I-25 in position to actually attack the fleet. Now... I will definitely watch this, but the, the tricky part here is how do how do I well they're all cruisers. So I think they should just basically be sitting docks, right? I'm just gonna let let the computer do what it'll whatever it wants. I'm gonna let it get down with its bad self. Now with that said, it made a bad move there. Um because, you know, the submarine expert that I am, the, the tactical genius. Why are you doing that? Why would you do that? He should have moved further to the south so that he would have been, would have been in position to shoot this guy. Just my, just my opinion. Let's see what happens with this though. You failure. You complete and utter failure. Oh well. I know how it feels when your torpedo doesn't go off or when it goes off at the wrong time. That was just a really long pause for laughter. Oh, I'm... Oh, this is a light cruiser with depth charge racks. So, this could hurt. Eh, okay. So, I'm gonna tell... I'm gonna tell ye old um, I-25 to cut that shit out. No, oh. How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. Well, he's gonna shoot at the guy that dropped depth charges on him. Shine on, you crazy diamond. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Smoking! Yep. Thanks for playing. Delightful. So now, um... These guys, we might be able to pop off another shot at these ones. They're gonna retreat the next turn, though. They're gonna be able to get out of range. So let's. Oh, nope, he's not even gonna bother. But that means that these transports are basically sitting ducks. 
the AI is not good at uh, being a good shepherd, if you will. Uh, these will get sunk. They're just like, get me out of here! Well, of course, if we miss, it doesn't really help us too much now, does it? Yeah, that's kind of a pisser, isn't it? Real pain in the ass. Piece of shit. There you go. So we sunk one of the transports. Which is good. This captain is going to be a very happy man, I think. Gonna get probably another one. Hopefully another one. And the cool thing is that if we run into this fleet again, they are defenseless against subs. Because those other cruisers, they just were like, Get me out of here! Hurt them! Shoot him in the stern. Right in the patoot. Which is Dutch. Right? Right? It's Dutch. It sounds Dutch. <laughs> Der patooten. Right? That's the plural. Alright, well that was that was a very commendable attack by, uh... What was that, the I-25? See the butcher's bill here. Nice. Alright, I don't think anything else is going to happen this turn. I did tell the air bases in the area to attack. Oh, well, this is going to be a laugh. Um, either the English in Hong Kong are amazing supermen, or we are just flowery little pansies. Well, that actually went pretty well for us. But they've, they've been putting up a pretty uh, stoic defense of Hong Kong. Having a hard time. It's quite a tough nut to crack, you see. Yes. That's how I think English people talk. I'm an embarrassment. Own trash. Okay, well that, that, didn't, that didn't go so well. But this could be it. This could be it for Makassar, because we're about to attack it with a bunch of guys and they only have a... There you go. Your head explode. Makassar is ours. So this brings up an interesting conundrum. I don't think Doug really predicted the excellence of our forces. And to be honest, his, um, the, the strategic genius of his um, aide-de-camp, I don't know what it's called in the Navy, I'm talking about myself. I'm, I did a really good job. And, uh, basically all of his goals have been met. Um, if we look at, uh, blah, blah, assets. Gonna check our assets out. Uh, let's take a look at the supply net. That's probably the best way of illustrating this. You can see that we have a, uh, a, a full supply network here, which is really, really good. Um, these troops will reinforce whenever we put them in combat, but um, it's good just because we have all these more than anything else. It's uh, nice to have these uh, very, very profitable areas. Uh, I think that, though, the, the thrust of what we were wanting to do here was to take over um, Indonesia. So I think I'm going to drive up. Uh, I'm just going to take my car and drive up to... Uh, what do they call this? Is this... Here's the thing. I'm going to call this place Batavia. Right there. And the reason, and I don't know if that's correct, but the reason I'm going to do that is because um, in upstate New York there is a... I think I explained this during the Silent Hunter 4 Let's Play. There's a town called Batavia. And it's pronounced Batavia. But I'm betting it's not Batavia. Just over-explaining something that no one cares about anyways. Uh, I'm also going to attack Palumbong. And then Singapore. I'll probably just do a little... Like that. Just like that. It's not like I'm hawking up a hairball or something. Alright. Um, yeah, and I'm going to tidy up in uh, Hong Kong too. I have a fleet inbound still. The 9th is taking its sweet-ass time getting there. Uh, you can see that some of my fleets are in yellow. That's because they can no longer attack the targets that they were designated to attack. Because they're now ours. So I'm going to be doing some busy work with that. And uh, meanwhile, I think I... 
we'll just uh, be having people resupply and stuff because they're a little bit thirsty at this point. Uh, let's see what the 10th fleet has. Yeah, they need some gas. I'm going to go ahead and give them orders to supply in Makassar because I bet that there's still a good number of supplies there. And then we'll move on to the west. Westward ho. Actually, we'll have to pick up marines too because we had army units on all of our all of our fleets, so we'll have to use the marines to take care of these, but I'm certainly not averse to that. That's a good idea, because then we get the bases for ourselves. Jackpot. That is the uh, British right there. And that's... That's... <laughs> that's, a, that's a spicy meatball right there. That's a lot of battleships. But... Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get... Uh, I actually dispatched several um, subs to go and try to ruin their day if I could find them. Um, I just found them, though. I'm going to change the order here to attack, but I don't think they'll be able to carry that out immediately. Um, also problematic, I don't know where they're going. Uh, I'm going to venture to guess that they're heading for Brunei, which is a problem. The 5th Fleet is pretty beefy. Oh, it's very beefy. That's a, also a spicy meatball. So I'm going to have them patrol in the area of Brunei. And hopefully they don't have the same problem that my other fleets have been having with, you know, not seeing things. We also have that 2nd Fleet up there. I'm, I'm a little bit gun-shy about sending them in. The reason is that uh, I don't want their carriers to end up getting into uh, into trouble. That would be bad. That would be most embarrassing, but we have to take a risk, so I'm going to go ahead and sail them into the area of Brunei. The 8th Fleet, I don't know what they're doing. I think that they're just chilling out there. I'm not going to send them any closer to Manila, because Manila is a nightmare. I'm sure it has many, many angry American people there waiting for me to, you know, die. <laughs> I don't know how to finish that sentence for some reason. I'm going to dock you at Davao. And then... And then... Excellent. Okay. Now, I have, um... The 5th was actually supposed to go to Saigon to get Marines to land at, uh... I guess I could reverse my course. I was gonna s I said that I was gonna go from Singapore to Palembang to Batavia, but... Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that now. I mean, certainly our plans have changed due to the presence of this fleet, but, uh... We'll see. Let's see how this turn goes. Let's see if uh, that air uh, air base in Saigon does any attacking here. Still have not detected the fleet around Gilbert. It's really weird. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, they got too close to Manila. It's gonna be a thriller in Manila. They're sending uh, B-17s at me. I think they got the worst of that. No, not really. It's kind of 50-50 there. I don't think any of their bombers got through. I'm gonna just keep my fingers crossed that they didn't. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> they have two fleets attacking! Oh, splendid. I really just want to see what happens in Saigon. Actually, I'll spare you guys the drudgery here. And I'll let you guys know if we do indeed attack that fleet. Well, we did just manage to take Hong Kong, so that's good news. Um, I just really want to see if that attack at Saigon happens. It's not going to happen. Alright. Well, we'll see if we can uh, attack him the next turn. It's December the 23rd, and I think today could be a very, very bad day for Tommy. Because we just detected their fleet again and it's closer to Saigon than before uh, let's let's uh, check the weather how about we uh, do a little weather report here oh it's bright and beautiful and sunny <laughs> oh, oh no 
Oh no, and then I have this uh, carrier fleet also attacking. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, um... Oof. Oof. Could be a rough day. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Oh my. So we hit their cap here. And it's weird, we have escorts, so I'm not sure why that happened. Normally when you have escorts, they will attack uh, any cap, basically, first, but no big deal, I guess. We have plenty more planes where that came from. Oh my. Um, I'm gonna watch this, <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and delegate, because I think we, we really can't lose here. We're either gonna hit... Well, actually, I'll tell them to target the carrier. It's a good idea. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, we got a torpedo hit in, but... Didn't do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Got another group of torpedo bombers. Two hits. That could be very bad for them indeed. Yep. Oh, we got very lucky here, folks. Oh. I know you. And not too serious of damage. Come on. Come on. You're... Ah. Curses! Damnation! Well, we did sink a light uh, carrier there. Did some damage to a battleship. Eh, eh, no, not that bad. And there we go again. Uh, that was supposed to be the highlight. It was okay. We sank a... There's no... no no real reason to be upset with that result, but uh, we could have done a little bit more. And my god, I want to find these fucking fights! Getting a little frustrated.